Hey guys, Francis Bo here, and uh, Bo Show, BotCon Talk. God, this is the third time that BotCon has been on this channel, and it's going to be coming all, more times than you think there's going to be. Um, yep, we have our next reveal for the box set, and uh, <coughs> need to get that out of, the, out of my system. And now let's talk about the exclusive. Okay, so, first off, when we talked about, what was his name, um, Battle, I mean, no, 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 uh, Pack Rat, I specifically said in that video that it looks like a Generations offering, and, you know, I still say it is, because, think about it, it's colored to be like that, it's just feels like it should have been in a Generations toy. That being said, let's talk about the, the new reveal. So the new reveal is, and it's part of the box set, just want to let you guys know, it's not part of the exclusives, it's part of the box set. Generations Chop Shot, it ch Chop Shot, is part of the exclusives. The new one that was just revealed along with Pack Rat is part of the exclusives, so. Or part of the box set, sorry. Um, so the other one they revealed is Battle Trap, and and I'm pretty sure none of you know who that is. So a little bit of a bio to give you guys, just to tell you who Battle Trap is. And good thing I have my tablet here, so I can actually tell you guys from from here. So Battle Trap is one of the Duocons. Is it is one of two of the Duocons. Battle Trap uses two separate vehicles of his alternate mode in concert with each other. He likes to play with his target in, in the way a house cat might play with a rodent. That is, if said house cat happened to have a separate part of itself that could fly like a hummingbird. So the concept behind this is that it, it's kind of like you can take off, it's one robot, separate them, and they become two different vehicles. Let's talk about the original Generation 1 toy to say what the vehicle was were. The vehicle was were a helicopter and some form of van-ish. It was more or less of a truck, kind of. Now let's talk about the reveal that they, they just showed us. It's a repaint slash remold of the Generation's Springer. Now, let me be honest here. Anything that I say about a Generation's offering right now... I have to admit, this one feels like a BotCon toy. I mean, it has the paint. It actually is inspired by a toy that a lot of people would want to see. And it's using a mold that's perfect for the character. Sure, it's not a van like it was in the original Generation 1 toy. But, you know, it's the car mode is still pretty darn cool. And, you know, it has the uh, battle trap head and it works for the character. It fits in with the pack wrap because they're kind of the same colors and they kind of fit with, with each other. Um, for those who are wondering that no, they're not all going to be in the same colors. The person in the video who revealed it mentioned it. It will the other three will be in different colors, so I'm not going to he uh, needless to say they're not going to be all the same color. Uh, but anyway, um, also in the original generation one toy of battle trap, he had this nice. This little uh, grayish color on the chest, on the BotCon one, it's just the same. It's perfectly right there. Right there on the chest, the Septicon logo right there, and uh, the rest on the bottom is blue. Like, kind of darkish blue. It's perfect. It works. It's a perfect re representation of Battle Trap in a modern day form. It's not... You know, perfect as a Generation 1 toy offering, or its Generation 1 cartoon look, which he had in Headmasters. But it's a good attempt. It's a very, very good attempt, as a matter of fact. And I'm very happy with it. And if the other toys are good, then I might pick up this box set. Because, you know, Pack Rat is something that I'm not really happy about. But Battle Trap changes my mind saying, you know, well, maybe. Which brings up another question that I have. Like, we're done talking about Battle Trap. Let's talk about the other Duocon. Remember I said there was two Duocons. You know who the other one is? The other one's name is Flywheels. And guess what Guess what his modes were? 
And this is probably the best and probably the most easiest way to make firefly. Fly, firefly. Fire, fly wheels. Fly wheels had a tank and a jet and a robot. Gee, doesn't that sound familiar? All you have to do is repaint Generations Blitzwing and please fix those problems. I mean, seriously, those problems are problematic to the point where it just is frustrating. Please fix those parts and it will be a good figure. All you have to do is you know, paint it red on the chest, brown on the legs, have a mostly brown tank tankish mode and a mostly red jet mode. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then, as long as you have all that, you essentially have flywheels. If they can do that, I'll be super happy. And it it fits in because you know they're meant to be as a set. Frankly, like I would have liked it better if they were both exclusive. If it was an exclusive set, you know, for both of them. You know, but if that's the route they're going in, okay. You know, I'm happy with Battle Trap. Battle Trap looks really good, and I hope that the other reveals are just as good. And I'm hoping that the next reveal will be Flywheels, because I want Flywheels in the Generations Blitzwing mold. Give me Flywheels. Give me the other Duocon. Give me cons. That's all I ask. Um, it's really, really simple, actually. Um... Uh, if you want to know too, Flywheels also appeared in the Generation of One Japanese cartoon, the Headmasters. So that's pretty cool. Um, that is pretty much it for the reveals so far. There will be another reveal probably next Tuesday. So so far we have this. For the box set we have Pack Rat and Battle Trap, and for the exclusive we have what's tentatively named Vice Grip. Three. Bacon toys that have been revealed so far. And they're both in the same color scheme. Two of them are homages to Bacon toys, and one of them is an homage to a Generation 1 toy. Which shoots down my theory if all these toys were going to be homages to Bacon toys. Super, super happy. So, that's it for this video. Um, you know, I, I'm really liking it, so. If you're watching this video, fun publications, flywheels, Bloodswing, Generations Mold, red and brown. Make it happen.